What's up, everybody? This is Super Yankee for Life, and I'm bringing you guys week 12, I believe, if I got that right, uh, NFL Picks videos. I'm actually going to only do the Thanksgiving uh, games today and do the rest of Sunday's games at like maybe uh, Friday or so. Yeah, I'll probably do that Friday. Anyways, there will be three Thanksgiving Day games. and Actually, for once, I'm actually looking forward to the Lions annual Thanksgiving Day game. As you probably already know by now, the undefeated Green Bay Packers are going into Detroit. Um, on, I think it's like one o'clock. Uh, this first, it's the first game on tap. Um, I like the Green Bay Packers in this game. Uh, I think Detroit has a lot of potential. Well, obviously, because you know they're seven foot seven three, I think. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be loud. It's gonna be crazy. You know, the Lions, it's been so long since the Lions had like, had like a, uh, a relevant Thanksgiving Day game. Um, I, think the, I think the Packers, um, offensively, Green Bay, I think, will put up more points than the Lions' offense. I mean, the Lions have had so many comeback wins this year, and they've, you know, been able to dig, dig themselves out of a big hole that they've then last week against Carolina, they were down at 24-7. They came back offensively. Matthew Stafford had like five touchdowns. He was just he, he and and by the way, all five of the touchdowns, not a single one to Calvin Johnson. Which if you can get all those other guys involved, Titus Young, rookie out of Boise State, uh, Petter grew the tight end. Um, I'm trying to think of who else they got on the receiving core. I think they had Nate Burleson still. I'm not really sure. But if they can if they can get those guys involved and you bring Calvin Johnson, oh man, that that is gonna be a very big time offense. And you and you have job at best out of the backfield, catching passes, running the football, all that good stuff. Um if the Packers get get up early, let's say let's say the Packers get up like twenty one nothing, I'm not certain the Lions can do it again. I'm just I I just don't think the the Packers defense, although it's been bad been bad this year so far. I just don't think they can just give up a three touchdown lead just like that. So I'm gonna go. Let's see the score right here. Um, I'm gonna go 35-24. Green Bay beats Detroit on Thanksgiving. Goes to 11 and 0 and remains undefeated. The only remaining undefeated team in National Football League. Um, the four o'clock p.m. game. Miami at Dallas. Dallas is usually the Thanksgiving traditional game. Dallas riding a three-game skid. Oh, not, not skid. Three-game winning streak. Um, first one since 09. Miami started off 0-7. Won three in a row. Came off a very impressive win over Buffalo. Um, I understand Dallas. You know, it's Thanksgiving. And how your family, but you got bigger fit. You had you had fish to fry on Thanksgiving. No pun intended. Just the dolphins, fish, get it. Anyway, um, you know, it, it, this is a very important game for Dallas, even though they're facing a three and three and seventeen, because they're trying to keep pace with the Giants, who are by the way playing Saints on Monday night. So this is important. This is important to keep pace with the Giants, who are tied with the Cowboys atop the NFC East. So I'm gonna go 31 to 20. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll give Miami some some points because they've been, they've been playing hard as of late. Um, you know, they're probably they're, they're probably gonna have the second pick overall now since they've been winning so much, and they're probably basically out of the Andrew Luck sweepstakes or whatever you want to call that. Um, yeah, 31 20 Dallas will go to 7 and 4, and will be at the moment a top the NFC East all by themselves depending on what the Giants do Monday night against New Orleans. And then finally, I think this could be the, uh, one, probably the best game uh, of the two so, uh, I already mentioned. The, Har the Harbaugh brothers, John and Jim, coaching against each other when San Francisco goes to Baltimore and takes on the Ravens. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out who I like in this game even right now as I'm recording this. I'll go slightly San Francisco, 
you know, everybody wants to talk about their trips to the eastern eastern time zone and how that has an effect. I don't, I don't see how it can have an effect, honestly. But you know, all those San Francisco because they, I think they have, they have a more, they have more of an identity more, uh, more than Baltimore. I see. It seems like every week Baltimore doesn't know what the what the, what the, whether they should they should establish a run first or throw the football. I mean, Flacco two weeks ago, I believe, threw the ball 50 times. Last week he ran it 20, uh, threw it 28 times and ran it like 27 times or whatever ratio it was. I mean, it was a, it was a pretty balanced attack for Baltimore, and I think that was a critical thing, a critical key um, thing in their win over Cincinnati. Although their defense kind of made it a little interesting towards the end there. San Francisco is more balanced, I think, as far as what they want to do offensively than Baltimore is. I mean, Rams run the football, Frank Gore, you know, but it's not like they're asking Alex Smith not to do too much, not just trying, but they're trying to make it sure that he doesn't do everything all at once. So for score, I'm going to go 21-17. I like I, I I like what Al Smith is doing. I like what how Jim Jim Harbaugh yeah it's Jim Harbaugh. Um, I like what he's done to sort of control Al Smith. I mean he's only thrown like two interceptions all year. I mean he's doing a fantastic job. What can I say? Um, yeah, I guess that will wrap up the the Thanksgiving edition of the Week 12 NFL picks. I'll do the rest of the, the Sunday games. Uh, I'll do all the Sunday games, Monday Night Football, on Friday, I believe. Yes, Friday. Until next time, this is Super Yankee for Live signing off. Peace.